I am in Miami Beach, taking a little break from shooting iguanas, having some mojitos by the beach. There's an air show going on right now. We got F-22 Raptors buzzing, buzzing so close I can smell the jet fuel. It is a freaking unbelievable experience. I'm gonna finish up here, have a few more of these, and then I'll uh, get back to shooting some iguanas. Hope you enjoy. Oh my God, that's good. So at about 32 yards, we've got this one male right here, and he's with a female. I'm going to take him first because he's closest to the water. Let me explain what's happening real quick. I shoot the first iguana, but the round goes a bit low. As it runs off and settles down, I take a shot on the second iguana, instantly dropping it. I reload the gun, but I don't think I've cocked the gun far enough to put a pellet in it, so I reload it again because I know my Taipan has an anti-double feed mechanism, so only one round is going to go in the gun. What I don't realize is that this mechanism stopped working at some point on this trip, so I've actually just loaded two pellets into the gun. When I go to finish the first iguana, the two pellets leave and drop down lower, hitting it in about the vitals area. It scurries down the bank a little bit more. I reload the gun again, take a headshot on him, dropping him. About a day later is when I realized my anti-double feed mechanism was not working. And you can see them both right there. Alright, and I might need a little hold over on this guy right here. Oh, just skimmed his head. Maybe a lot less hold over than I think. Oh, but he's running. And that guy was right at 20 yards, so I knew my round was going to go just a bit low. So I aimed just a little bit high, and he went down. Oh, we see some foot moving. Yeah, he's dead. Down straight away. This is the guy I just shot right here. Perfect shot, but he still had a little bit more life to him. But when he went down, he was facing away from me. So I put a round like this going up through his spine. Hopefully that did all kinds of damage. When I got to him, he was completely finished off.
I'm gonna go check on that guy real quick, but two shots to put that one down. Oh, smacked him and you could see the like shrapnel flying off and once it hit crazy crazy these are the two that I just shot and this was the one that looked like something exploded off its head looking at it I don't really see anything look at the color differences in these two this one is like a leopard color you know like a you could compare it to almost a leopard frog I guess and this one is just bright vibrant green with a little marbling of black and some stripes on its belly beautiful creatures beautiful creatures dead dead These guys can duck their heads down and pretty much disappear into the grass. So this is the one where I took two shots and then uh, tried for the other one and it ran off. Now I wasn't going to show this guy at fir first because you're probably getting sick and tired of just seeing dead iguana after dead iguana. But when I saw the placement of this round, it is perfect. So right there, bam. No exit wound on the other side. Big, big fat iguana. Female, so it's probably got eggs in it right now. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I don't know which end is the head, which end is the tail. Okay, the spikes are going backwards. This is the head. All right, that should be enough. <laughs> That's a big guy. That's a big orange one. I'm just filling my gun back up here. Yesterday, the funny thing was, I actually shot this thing down to 50 bar. I was having to compensate about a mil dot and a half for close range shots so I grabbed my little bottle today we won't have any of that nonsense going on anymore I'm at about 32 iguanas for the day okay I counted 13 in this one little area Come on.
three. Oh, there's four. Four. Okay, I see number five. Five. I'll just pause here a second because you never know when one will pop its head up, put my safety back on. I think that's it. I'm going to stop recording, go out and grab all five. Oh, I shot at six. I believe I killed five and I recovered four. I think one of them went into these long, like, uh, I don't even know what this plan is. Well, I think one of them went in there when it was uh, thrashing about from its headshot, went in there and, and finished dying. Been looking for it for a little while now. So I aired the gun back up and it's doing great. Come on, don't run. Two. The head. Oh, I see another one. Try and focus it in the scope. I see a tail whip. I'm gonna go try and get him before he rolls. Come on, where is this thing? See, the thing is I, I get it set where I can see it in the side shot and then I need to go to transition to the scope and then I completely lose it for a little while. We got a little wind. I don't need to really hold for wind. This is the one with the noose on its neck. Nailed it. We can put another one in it. Well, I'll just shoot that one instead. So you remember how yesterday I said I saw one with a noose on its neck? This is that guy right here. This is the um, the noose or the snare. I don't even, I think they probably, seeing this, I think it was set up as a trap to get it. Obviously the iguana got in the uh, snare and could not get it off its neck. Crazy, crazy. Well, at least it doesn't have to suffer with this on its neck anymore, although I mean it's dead, but I hope I helped it out. This death was quick versus this death right here.
two down. First one took two rounds, second one instant death. That rolled him. You could see his tail flip around in the scope. So today was an amazing day. It started out, I found this crazy, amazing park, shot 53 iguanas, 47 confirmed dead. Then went out and got a permission to shoot on the weekend with monster iguanas. But the best thing of today is actually when I explored this park. That's what I enjoyed the most. I got to see everything for the first time. There's giant trees. I don't even know what kind they are, but there's a towel right there. You can go up, look down, and see everything from above the trees. So you can see all the little organisms growing on them. There is an actual tree growing on a tree. Amazing. I, I'm having a blast here. What else can I say? I don't know. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. GoPro, shut off. Stop record. I don't know how to use this thing. Than the doodle beat rock. I'm more able though, but still murderous. On the beat, at least I'm bleeding the encouragement. Living like a rebel, all intents and purposes. Practically a rapper who's broke, but still virtuous. At least I hope so. Y'all can be the judge of that. I know you're on a special team, so just run it back.